Welcome back to Corvallis and the Beaver Spring game. Here at Oregon State, here at Oregon State University, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, that was one of the most spectacular sights of all time. That was absolutely amazing, and it's all brought to you here by the man sitting next to me, Oregon State Athletic Director Scott Barnes joins us here at the uh, Oregon State Spring Game. Uh, you got to take me back to that day. What was <laughs> what was that like, uh, and and by and, and how far did that thing echo when uh, you yeah. brought down that yeah. side? I'll tell you the first thing that comes to mind is I, you know, a bucket list item. I never thought I'd have somebody yell at me, fire in the hole, <laughs> <laughs> and then pressing that button. I got to tell you, it was awesome. Yeah. It was uh, incredible. You could feel the compression. Uh, concussion really against against your body when you when we did it and after after the dust settled like real quickly because there was there's some rain that day right so it wasn't that dusty as soon as the building went down Nigel a, a, an owl uh, flew across the skyline and that owl had been roosting on top of that uh, <laughs> about that structure so the owl was saved <laughs> hey man <laughs> a good omen yeah, you, well i think that owl was wondering like uh, i hope you're gonna put me up in a tent or something <laughs> yeah, until right, you build this right. thing but uh well you know it, it, 160 million dollar renovation gonna be ready by the 2023 season okay. you also decided eh, while we're at it well, let's throw in a 150 by 45 foot uh, scoreboard you've got the uh, student Welcome Center and the Campus Wellness Clinic that are going to be uh, a, a part of that as well. And, and 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 tell me if I got this right, it's Beaver Street because you'll actually be able to, because I know as a fan, you, you couldn't walk around the entire stadium. You had to kind of go and then jump back outside and then go back in. You will actually be able to walk around this entire stadium now. What, what, what are some of the highlights? What's some of your favorite parts of this project? Yeah, no, I think you've hit on a lot of them. One was the premise is, look, we're gonna, if we're going to invest $160 million, Let's use this year round. Let's find a way to meet the needs of campus uh, in terms of what was next for campus. And so that, as you spoke to the, the wellness clinic for all of our students, and, and Nigel, not only our students in campus community, but uh, Samaritan will operate an urgent care center out of the third floor. So it'll, it'll expand to the, the general community at large in terms of servicing. Um, then the Welcome Center. I mean, our, our uh, enrollment management unit is is really excited. They're moving from uh, probably a 200 square foot cubicle yeah. to 2,500 square feet of uh, pride points of the university digi digitized. And, and that'll serve as a welcome center for general student recruitment during the week. Um, and then on weekends, it's the lobby for the premium uh, entrance uh, for all of our premium seat holders. So that's really cool. You said at Beaver Street, when you think about some of the awesome streetscapes that you've enjoyed, you're walking down the street and you're just, you're just vibe, you know, all kinds of vibes, food, beverage, and then open concourse to the field so you can see the whole field. Um, that is, is, is really unique to college football. We're bringing that. The other unique thing is the premium seating is, is the closest to the field in college football. Wow. Um, in, in all power five. And so that fan experience was a real primary element. And I, I do want to say, Nigel, also that the, the financial, the funding model for this, uh, the way we put this together, the leverage that uh, 91 million in philanthropy creates, our goal was 85, we raised 91 million. The leverage that creates along with a myriad of new revenue streams, not only pays for this project, but dumps in another 2.5 million a year to our athletic program wow. for general operations. So really proud of that. Well, it's amazing, especially when you consider, you know, how many athletic departments are really struggling coming out of COVID. And here right. you go, raise $91 million. So I'll be uh, talking to you to uh, be my next financial advisor when we're done with <laughs> hey, this. We, I would say uh, <laughs> our, our donors stepped up mightily. Obviously, we did that with 26 gifts, uh, $91.6 million with 26 gifts. And I uh, can't thank our donors, not only our donors, Nigel, but... The premium seating, 644 seats. We've got less than 20 seats left wow. of that 644 premium seats. So thanks to Beaver Nation.